National charity Allergy UK is urging doctors and parents to educate themselves on the most common food allergy in infants. If not correctly diagnosed, cow's milk allergy, or CMA, can seriously affect both the health and development of the child, as well as causing distress to its carers. We carried out a survey earlier on in the year um, for new parents about their experiences with getting their children's cow's milk allergy diagnosed. So the report stems from that. So it's maybe raising awareness if you know, if your baby isn't getting better after normal treatments that your GP may be prescribed and symptoms are getting worse and they're really not, you know, not happy babies and they're really starting to, you know, really be quite poorly, it may be worth thinking, could this be a problem? Of the parents surveyed, whose children have been diagnosed with CMA, nearly one in five visited the GP ten times or more, while in the average case, parents had to make five trips to their doctor before diagnosis. Cow's milk allergy causes a number of different symptoms and broadly we consider cow's milk allergy as two different sorts. Firstly there's what we call immediate cow's milk allergy and it's pretty easy to diagnose because the symptoms are very obvious. As soon as cow's milk's been drunk straight away the symptoms of itchiness, hives, swelling and in extreme cases severe reactions involving difficulty in breathing. Fortunately severe reactions are rare. But there's also another type of cow's milk allergy where the symptoms aren't quite so obvious and don't always happen so quickly after the, after the milk's been drunk. What often happens in infancy is the infant is having regular cow's milk formula feeds and they've got chronic symptoms like eczema or diarrhea or reflux or colic or abdominal pain or they're not putting weight on as, as, as we'd like and those are actually the symptom of the underlying cow's milk allergy but because there's not that easy connection between when the food's eaten, when the symptom starts, it's very difficult to, um, to make the diagnosis. Commonly confused with lactose intolerance, the research shows that while 75% of parents say they have heard of CMA, 50% could not identify the symptoms. Uh, one of the most distressing things about being a parent is when you see your child suffer in any way, shape or form and you just don't know what to do. If only they could talk because I don't know what goo goo gaga means, to be perfectly honest. In different situations, it can mean different things. So I think from our point of view, we do get anxious. We want to, we want to treat them in the best way possible. Um, if my baby has, you know, has, has diarrhea, if they have um, reflux, they have a rash, I want to know what's causing it. I think that there are so many different symptoms out there. Um, we should all be aware of what this can mean. If you think that there's something wrong with your baby, do go to the GP and ask them for advice. Don't make decisions yourself. There is a difference between lactose intolerance and cow's milk allergy, for instance. And if you decide that to help them out, you're going to re remove milk from their diet, you could actually be removing vital nutrients from your baby's diet unnecessarily as well. Well, the doctor might offer you know, a simpler solution. So, Go and see your GP if you have any questions and by discussing things with them, they will take it seriously. After all, we are discussing a baby's health and you should come away feeling far more confident and happier in the resolve. GPs themselves also recognise there needs to be more information and training made available to doctors, with 70% saying they would like more information in the form of treatment and diagnostic guidelines.